On this worksheet, we have a list of products and the quantities that were sold on different days. We would like to find the lowest quantity overall and the highest, and then for each type of product, we'd like to find the lowest and highest quantity of sales. So we just need a simple formula to find the overall minimum. So in this cell, I'll type an equal sign, min for the minimum, and then select all the quantity cells, close the bracket, and press enter. There's the lowest quantity, and if you look through the list, there's their lowest quantity. Similar formula for the highest, we type equals max, open bracket, select all the quantity cells, close the bracket, and press enter. And again, a quick visual check shows that 92 is our highest number. It gets a little more complicated if you want the minimum for a specific product type. So I've listed the product names here, and in this cell, I'm going to create a formula that will check for the file folder name in this column and then get the minimum quantity from this column. This is an array formula, so instead of just pressing enter when we're done, we'll hold the control and shift keys and then press enter. To start the formula, I'll type equal min, but this time we're going to use if. So I, F, and an open bracket. We're going to do a logical test. We're going to select all the product cells. We want to lock that range because we're going to be copying the formula down and we don't want this range to change as we move down. So press F4 on your keyboard to lock those cells. We want to check to see if the product name here is equal to what we've typed there, so equals C8. I'm not going to lock this because I do want that to adjust as we copy the formula down. And then comma, and what we want, if this is true, is the quantity. So select all the quantity cells, and again, lock that by pressing the F4 key. Now I'm going to complete the if by closing the bracket, and then close the bracket for min. Hold the control and shift keys, and then press Press enter and you'll see in the formula bar that curly brackets have been added to show that's an array formula. To copy that down I'll point to the fill handle and double click so we can see the minimum quantity for each. Now the same formula for the max except instead of min we'll use max there. So equals max open bracket if what we want to check in our logical test is the product name. So select those Press F4 to lock it. We're going to check to see if it's equal to product name here. We're not going to lock that. If that's true, the value that we want is this quantity. So select all those cells, press F4, then close the if, close the max, hold Control Shift, and press Enter. To copy that down, point to the fill handle and double click. And now we have the min and max based on this criteria. Up here, the simple min and max are for all the products in the list. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.